It's four o'clock. I'll call the meeting to order. This is the May 20. This is a special meeting of the Northampton Transportation Park Commission. It's May 26, 2017. Um, my name is Ryan O'Donnell. I'm the chair of the commission. As we always do, let's introduce ourselves for the benefit of the public, starting with our vice chair. I'm Jean Louise Shara. I'm the ward four councilor and vice chair. Gary Hartwell, member of the public. Um, I'm a citizen. Jody Casper, police chief. Katie Pomerantz, director of central services. Alan Seawald, city solicitor. Donald Scalia, director of public works. Maggie Chan, DPW. Jimmy Albert Fisher, citizen. Nancy Forrestal, assistant city collector. Okay, thank you. And let me note the audio and video recording of these proceedings. Um, at the beginning of our meeting, we have a period of public comment. And I just ask if there's any member of the public who wishes to provide public comment. No? Um, hearing none, we'll launch into our agenda. We have one item. Uh, the purpose of this meeting uh, is to is for review of and discussion of a response to an open meetings law complaint from John Rhodes of, of 172 Nottuck Street. Uh, this is a complaint that was received on Monday, May 26, 2017. And Wayne Fighting, uh, Biden, our Director of Planning and Sustainability, has also joined us. Um, I guess I'll start by reading the complaint, just for the record. Um, again, this comes from John Rhodes, uh, 172 Nottuck Street, Florence, Mass. Uh, the name of the body um, named in the complaint is the City of Northampton Transportation and Parking Commission. The specific person alleged committed the violation is Ryan R. O'Donnell, the chair. Uh, date of alleged allegation, May 16th, 2017. The description of the violation is as follows. <clears throat> On August 5th, 2015, a traffic calming request form was submitted to the Transportation Parking Commission, TPC, to initiate a study of traffic on Nottetuck and Elm Streets. The TPC is required to place the item on a meeting agenda within 60 days of receipt. The TPC is also required to notify the petitioners and property owners in the affected area of the date of this meeting to allow for greater public input. This was never done. The property owners only became aware of this on Friday, September 2nd, 2016, when signs were erected notifying motorists that speed humps were going to be installed. These speed humps were temporary and were installed to allow the Department of Public Works, DPW, to do a traffic study. The next meeting of the TPC was scheduled for October 18th, 2016, and again, property owners were not notified of this meeting. I, meaning John Rhodes, attended this meeting only after going to on the City of Northampton website to find the date of the next TPC meeting. At the meeting, I stated to the TPC I felt the process was not being followed and that the public was not being fully included in the process. So I asked the TPC at the time to notify property owners of the next meeting where the results of the DPW study would be discussed. All property owners were notified in a letter from City Council David Murphy of the next meeting, which was held on May 16, 2017. I feel that the TPC negligence in not properly notifying the affected parties throughout this process has not allowed for proper discussion of alternative traffic calming measures and additional input into the location of speed bumps, which is the final recommendation of the TPC. And the action that is suggested by Mr. Rhodes is for us to reopen the hearings and get additional input into alternatives and location of speed bumps and signage. Um, so, unless there are any initial questions about that, I would like to ask our counsel. I have an initial question. Yes. Um, to what body was this complaint given? To the transportation, well, it no, was no, no. the city clerk. Received. Okay, um, let me try and phrase the question again. What, who, it was submitted to us, but under what violation form or what claim form? This, this is written on an open meetings law, open meeting law complaint form, which is available from the Attorney General's office okay. on the website. He's telling us not following our rules, but I'm not hearing any complaint about open meeting law. Yeah. I, I agree with that. Um, I think it would be instructive to turn over to our solicitor, actually, um, if you wouldn't mind, Alan, to kind of describe your Thank you, Counselor. Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Alan Seawold. I'm the city solicitor. And um, uh, there are several reasons why this is not an appropriate open meeting law complaint. Uh, as uh, Wayne pointed out, his, the complainant is not complaining about us failing to abide by the open meeting law. Um, I have checked and there were proper postings of meeting agendas for each of the three meetings that are um, uh, referenced in the complaint. 
Um, so this is simply not a proper open meeting law complaint. I spoke with uh, Jonathan Squarsik, who is uh, the head of the Open Government uh, Division of the Attorney General's office, and he said they get them all the time and they just dismiss them because uh, the Attorney General's office uh, enforces the open meeting law, which has very specific posting requirements. Any other law that, that uh, provides for additional notice requirements is outside of the jurisdiction of the Attorney General. So um, number two, even if this were properly an open meeting law complaint, uh, a complaint needs to be filed within 30 days of the meeting that of which the complaint, uh, which violated the open meeting law. To the extent that there were any meetings that uh, were not properly noticed, at least under our, our um, traffic calming manual, um, those were in 2016 and 2015, and the statute of limitations has run on those anyway. So as, and as far as the, uh, May 2017 meeting, uh, Mr. Rhodes uh, points out that proper notice was given. So uh, for those reasons, this is not a proper open meeting complaint. And my advice to you would be to inform the Attorney General that um, you, have to, you have rejected the complaint because it's not a proper open meeting law complaint. The next thing that has to happen is that within 14 days of the complaint, um, this body needs to uh, send to the Attorney General's office a copy of the original complaint and a copy of the action taken uh, or notice of the action taken in response to it. That's the next thing that has to happen. Thank you, From Councilor O'Donnell and I, pretty much everything we do falls under open meeting law, but for the rest of the commission or for the audience, could you, who may not be as familiar, could you just briefly outline what open meeting law, the, the purpose of it and what it? The purpose of open meeting law is to make sure that the public has at least constructive notice of, of, um, of meetings of all governmental bodies, of which you are one. Um, so there are certain requirements. There has to be a posting at least 48 hours before the meeting. The posting has to have certain information so, to, so as to inform the public as to the, uh, the matters that will be taken up and discussed at the meeting. Um, there are requirements of keeping records and minutes. There are requirements of keeping as part of the record of the meeting any documents that the commission um, reviews and, and uses as part of the meeting. Generally, that's what the open meeting law requires. Any other questions for the solicitor or in general? Sorry. Is there any requirement to notify people uh, in writing who might be affected you know, at their address? By a no, project uh, like this, which was one of the uh, elements of the complaint. Under the traffic calming manual, there is provision for giving notice to the those who petition and, and the abutting landowners. But that has nothing to do with the open meeting law. The open meeting law simply requires posting of notice in certain places, and um, and there's no direct notice to any particular persons under the open meeting law. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes, sir. So if we respond to the Attorney General's office in a 14-day period uh, with a copy of the application and a letter from the TPC mm -hmm. or something from the solicitor, what's the process for that? However the commission would like that to happen, I'm happy to send it. Uh, we could ask you to communicate our position. It could be done I would need a copy of your vote. Mm -hmm. So I would need just to enclose the minutes of your vote. The minutes would be approved, of course, within a 14-day window. Still, still, still public record, even if it's not approved, so. Okay. Okay. Any other questions or discussion on this? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the, the bottom line with this is that the Transportation Parking Commission, in fact, went out of its way, especially on this issue, to create a good <coughs> public process. We schedule our meeting for a time that will be better from the public. Uh, and with Ward 5, uh, Councillor David Murphy, we sent letters to residents. Uh, that was our attempt to go above and beyond what we're required to do. Um, and the complaint is alleging, um, well, actually, it doesn't make any allegation about the open meeting law being broken in any way. Right. It is, in my opinion, um, well, I don't want to cast aspersions on anyone's right to, to uh, seek redress on the open meetings law, but I think it's a, a frivolous complaint. So, 
I mean, respectfully, because there's no allegation of any uh, violation of the open meetings law at all. And this commission has followed the open meetings law uh, in all of its proceedings. So I would accept a motion to, um, I would accept the motion that our formal response be that uh, this is uh, not a violation of the open meetings law. And to direct the solicitor to communicate that to the attorney general or request the solicitor to do that on our behalf. Is that a, is that a, a good enough motion? Is there a second? Or is that someone so made that motion? Is it, is it made? Is, it, is there a second to that motion? Second. Second. Okay, any discussion? Is that motion good enough for the purposes of the law? Okay. Any other discussion on the motion for our response? Uh, all those in favor of the motion, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? The motion passes unanimously. Um, thank you. Is there any new business today? There's a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much.